Greetings. Thanks for tuning in and listening to Deba Speaks. I want to speak on this uh, website that I ran into, America's Black Holocaust Museum. And it was founded by a, a African black man who's, who is a lynching survivor. His name is Dr. James Cameron. And this museum is in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 404 North Street and North Avenue. They also have a vitriol museum online that you can look at, but the website is intense. And I wanna be brief, but I wanna be thorough too about it. America's Black Holocaust Museum, uh, founded by the only surviving African-American who was lynched, but he survived. So he's deceased now. Okay, um, he give the introduction about Mama Africa is the birthplace of the human race. We are all her children. That's That could be debatable. But the exhibits talk about the early African women, hunters, warriors, and rulers, enslaved peoples in African societies before the transatlantic slave trade. It did exist. Africans did come here to the Americas and the Caribbean and all other parts of the world. It happened. Three of the world's most influential empires, Ghana, Mali, and Songhai. Uh, some exhibits to come, African peoples before their captivity. Oh, okay. It gives the visit, the, the galleries, uh, kidnap, the Middle Passage, that did happen. Africans did come here or were enslaved, dragged here, tooth and nail to the Caribbeans, the Americas, and the rest of the world. It happened. Nearly the centuries of enslavement, he goes in detail about that. Reconstruction of brief glimpses of freedom. We never were free because right now we are in prison. We are enslaved in the system of systemic racism and, and white supremacy. 100 years of Jim Crow, which they are wanting to bring back, but it never left people. I am somebody, the struggle for justice. Remember the black men walking around with that sign, I am a man? And I remember someone stated that if you have to tell someone you're a man, that was a very, uh, I didn't like that sign, I am a man. Now, free at last, and a question mark. Free at last, are we free? Memorial to the victims of lynching. And then the freedom lovers roll call wall. The freedom lovers roll call wall. The freedom lovers. And then he have a special exhibit. And then portraits of resistance. This is a fabulous website. And I wanted to read about the middle passage. How the poor boy was. He talked about... The, uh, the castles that they had on the beaches in Africa where they were dragging the, 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 uh, the Africans to the coast, keeping them there until the ships came in to take them away. It happened, people, the Middle Passage. Our historians, professors, lecturers, and, and teachers talk about how we were brought here. Now, I've heard someone say that it's a lie. There is no way that 22 million Africans came here on no boat, which is correct. But what I'm here, what I read is different. But what I read in regards to Africans coming here was 300 something thousand. The only 22 million Africans that I have read about was the, the uh, census of Africans in this country. And I think it was around 1970, they said that it was 22 million Africans. So no one, I never read that 22 millions came over on the boats. And another question they asked is, someone made the statement, not a question that, where are those ships? Where are all those boats that brought all these slaves here? 
Because their argument is, is that we're all Native Americans. And if that's what you want to be, that's fine. But don't tell everybody that's who they are. Because some people are know that they are 96% Nigerian. Some people know that they are 52% Ghana. Some people know who they are on the west coast of Africa. So you can't say that every black folk over here, African, is a Native American. And you cannot help, just push aside the red skin with the straight black hair and the brown eyes and the deep voice and the love for their fruit. And they wear the feathers and they have the casinos. Those Natives, you can't just dispel them. But this website is intense. It talks about the Middle Passage. So to, to, to dispute, the, this is just troubling to me, this division. And it's, it's another laughing matter for our enemy to look at us, the way we arguing and fighting among himself about, I'm Native. No, I'm African. And then you got FBA, and then you got ADOS. I often think that how silly it is for all Asians not to get along. The Japanese don't like the Chinese. The Chinese don't like the North Korean, the North Korean or South Korean, but they all Asians. And then you got the Indians over there, the Pakistanians fighting with the, with the Indians. They're Indians. We're black. And like Peter Tosh said, it doesn't matter where you come from. As long as you're a black man, you are African. Martin Lawrence was born in Germany. He's not German. We're running around here talking about we're Native Americans. So if that's what you want to be, fine. But you know what? When I think of my father, when I see his ways and his brothers, I see West African men. I see them. You, you have people running around here with noses. They look like pygmies from the tribe of Pygmy, saying that they are native. Someone told me about, um, well, I read too about Pangaea. At one time, the whole world was black and then it shifted. And so if the black man is anywhere like in Ireland, the Twa people, who the Irelands went over there and destroyed the short, people who they call leprechauns. How did those Africans get to Ireland? They travel, right? So if you're black in America, you travel here from, from Africa. But this is something else and I'm going to end because I don't want it to be too long as eight. But those who are claiming to be Native Americans and someone asked, why are they doing that? Is it because they want the uh, the reparations to say that they are Americans and they were here first? Well, the the government already gave them reparations to the, to the natives. Go, do they claim you? I understand that Africans did fellowship with the natives and joined with them and cohabitated with them, but you were still Africans. So you're gonna dispel all. The history of the Middle Passage, all the books that our lecturers and teachers and professors have, have spoke on. So no Africans came here to the Caribbeans and to the other parts of the world. There are no Afro-Brazilians or Afro anywhere in the world. The original Chinese and Japanese, they were black. Yeah, because Africans travel. So, yes, Native Americans here. Indigenous Natives, but you're African still. You love the African music. You still be twerking. Right? You still go for the, for the black causes, right? You can't, so one day you're Indian, Native American, and then the next day you're African. I know how much West African DNA I have. 
And I don't want to share it. I don't have to. And watch your comments when you, uh, uh, if you got something to say to me, let it be respectful so that I can reply respectful. But I know who I am. I'm not Native American. When I see my father and his uncles, and all I see is African. My youngest son, that's all I see is Nigerian. But we love their music. We love the reggae music. If you hear the music back there, Native Amer Americans, those who are saying they are indigenous Indians here, they have the hair like mine. They have the lips, hips, butt, and the thighs. They got the skin. They twerk. Okay? I'm trying to look at all my notes, but this is just like the Arabs or the Muslims. I'm she, what they call it. I'm Sunni and I'm Shiite. What if they get together and stop arguing? They can't be conquered, right? What if we just stop this bickering, especially online? It's horrible. And again, our oppressor, suppressor, and depressor, the one that have their knee and they foot on our neck, they look at our channels and they see us going back and forth. Yeah, right. We don't know who we are because color is on my birth certificate. And then, yeah, we did. We went to Negro. We went to Black. And right, we don't know who we are because we all screwed up. But if we can stick to just one thing, we're African. When you die and they dig up your bones, what are they going to find in your bones? Native American? American? Or did you come here from Africa? I'm going to end with that. I hope I said all that I could say. And it's not going to end. Because we are so tribal, we're not going to make it. We're not, we can't get together. We, we, we despise each other. We'll find any reason to argue with each other. I'm FBA. I'm ADOS. I'm LGBTQA+. I'm this. I'm that. When, and when in reality, we ain't nothing. We're not even unified. So how can we divide ourselves with this, that, and the other when we're not even unified? Peace, if you can find it. Thanks for tuning in and listening. That's just my tad bit. Peace, if you can find it.